Hello Volkswagen lovers, welcome back to my channel, Junior Classic VW Bucks, and today this is video number 5 for Sony the Super Beetle. Today I am going to show you how to remove your uh, pistons on the engine block. For that you will need a 90 degree needle plier like this, and you will need to remove the little cutter spring that it's in there. That's something very easy to do. I always like to get started on the uh, one on the other side. Uh, this is piston number four, so I'm going to remove this one first, like so. You see it right there? And then the next one I'm going to remove is this one right here. See how they came out very easily? So the next thing you want to do is you may want to find a extension like this and use that to knock on the piston. Um, a pin to push it out to the other side. Sometimes they come out very easy. Sometimes you just have to um, tap them a little bit. As you can see this one right here, um, just by pushing it, it came out a good amount on the other side. See that right there? So, What I'm going to do is I am going to use the extension to tap it. And like I said, you don't need to put a lot of um, effort. Just kind of like uh, use something uh, made out of wood or something even like a, a wire brush that it's made out of wood like this. And you can tap it and that's going to come out. So you can see. It came out very easily. You see that? And that's how you do it. So uh, one of the things that you can do to test uh, um, if the uh, pistons are wore out in here is as they are like in that position, you can pretty much do that. And as you can see, this one here seems to be pretty good. So that one, it's a keeper so far. As you can see, I just went back in and pushed this by hand. And what I like to do is I like to put all of these parts back together in the same fashion that I took them out. So this is piston number four. I'm going to make sure that I keep this piston with jug number four. As I explained on previous videos, these parts over time, they wore out. And a lot of times uh, if you don't, um, uh, keep the parts together, you swap them for each other, you end up getting back compression, uh, oil leaks and so. So right now, I'm just making sure that I place that spring back in there. As you can see, it's right in there. You see that? It's got that little loop. That's where you grab it. When you're taking it out, pretty much you just grab it right there and you pull it out like so. Okay, I'm going to place that back in there. Um, if when you're removing this piston and you're tapping this um, pin out, you feel like it's uh, resisting to come out, please don't continue to tap them hard. Get yourself some uh, PVC blaster or some uh, WD-40 and spray it and let it sit and you know keep trying like that but don't ever try to hit very hard on these okay uh, so just a word of advice so this one here for on the meantime i'm just gonna sit them here and i have this uh, plastic container i'm gonna put them right in here um, like so and then i'm going to proceed to remove uh, the next one um, one thing that i want to point out is that since that one is out like that it just helps to remove the, the uh, piston number two since it's already pretty much um, st uh, sticking out. Because in order for you to remove these, uh, you have to play with the, crank ch uh, the crankshaft. You have to um, turn it uh, forward or counter ca counterclockwise or, or clockwise so that you have enough room to get these pins out and be able to tap them so you can get them off, okay? 
All right, so that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to get this one out here first. And like I said before, if you can see this, just bear with me one second. We're removing this pin from here, right there. See that? Right there. And again, the way you do it is pretty much you get yourself a 90 degree needle plier and look how easy that comes out. Like so. And then you set that aside and you save them in the same manner that you took them out so you won't lose any parts or mix them with the others. Um, it's good to make sure that they're always going back to the same uh, same place that you took them out. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for that. <coughs> so, I'm going to turn this engine around and make sure that Pull that back in here and again, <coughs> I'm grabbing this one here like so. And that's out. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'll continue to upload uh, more videos trying to keep these videos short and straight to the point so that you don't um, waste any of your, any of your time because you got an engine to rebuild like me. All right, until then, this is Junior. Junior is out. Bye.